let's talk about how to do an image search for an image file. So let's just say that you have a photo that someone sent you or shared with you, or a photo that you found online, you don't remember where you got it from. You can actually search for images online. So I'm at images.google.com, and you'll notice that when you're there, there's this little camera that says search by image, and when you click on it, you can paste the image URL, the web address of an image, or you can upload an image. Um, something that's kind of fun is you hit upload image, choose a file, and then I'm on my Chromebook. So I could say, I want to search for this picture of Rainbow Dash. I don't remember where I got it from. It'll do an image search. Best guess for this image. It'll show you similar images. And it will then show you websites that have matching images. So it's going to show you all the places on the internet where this picture is found. So that's a pretty popular image. So not surprised to find um, that sort of thing. The other thing that I can do is I can open up my files app, I can grab a picture and I can just drag it in. And when I drop my image, it uploads and it searches that way. It's waiting. Now this time I uploaded a picture that I know that I took that's from my phone. So I know they're not gonna find it online. So no other sizes of this image found best guess for this image, companion dog. This is actually my dog. Um, you see lots of other pictures of dogs, interestingly enough, sitting on a car seat just like mine, but they haven't found it anywhere else. So nothing else is showing up because this is actually just my dog. That's what she looks like. She's kind of a jerk. Okay. Now there's one other way that you can search for images online that's probably the easiest way out of all of these ways. Let's say that I'm online and I find a website. There's a picture. This picture looks familiar. I'm like, I feel like I've seen it somewhere before. I can actually right click on a picture, search Google for image, and it will do the same search just directly from that picture online. It'll ask you, you know, school bus for a student. It'll show you some suggestions and similar images. Pages that include matching images. Well, there's, those are all the places where that picture has actually been used before. So you can see where this would be kind of helpful, um, not only to maybe make sure people aren't using your photos, but you could find maybe a photo um, that has been used from another website on a different site. Good way for kind of tracking your fake news and kind of debunking any stories that you might see. So now you know the tricks. Do the thing.